Sal, is he still doing five to ten at Attica? From the day that you were born, I promised myself that my perfect little baby boy was never going to suffer for having a too dumb, too young mother who didn't have a clue how to raise him. Okay? I swore that I would figure it out somehow and that you were going to grow up to be strong and smart and respectful of women and well-adjusted. And you know what? I busted my ass, but I did a pretty good job because I got you through and you're this wonderful man and I would really like to keep it that way, sweetie. Okay? So I would really appreciate a little bit of cooperation here. You need to get your ass out of town. What the hell is wrong with you? All right, the most important thing here is we do what's best and safest for my sister. What are we looking at? I'm not ready to make any recommendations just yet. All the test results aren't in. If they do say what I'm anticipating, we're going to have to assess whether medication is going to be helpful. We'll see what comes in, and we'll go from there. Well, I... I want to do whatever's best for the baby, that's for sure. Okay, Patrick's right. We, sh we shouldn't speculate. Right? As soon as test results are in, we'll come back. I'll be right back. Do you see that? Do you see how much he's trying? Do you see what you want to see? No, John, what you're refusing to see is that this baby, he's changing everything. No, really, I mean, including me, I... I realize that everything I used to scoff at is true. You do fall deeply, madly, forever in love. And you realize something more important than you exists and miracles do happen. And my baby's the reason for everything. And I know that Sonny feels the same way. I know he does. You're rambling the way you do when you get really upset. I mean, who do I have to kill to make you feel better? Me. You need to kill me so I can stop making all these terrible, stupid choices. Stupid choices. Like what? Like like the kind that haunt you for the rest of your life, and they don't go away no matter how many years, no matter how many miles. Uh, you're being cryptic. It's even worse than I thought. Do you remember Carmen Morello? Sure, yeah, Aunt Carmen. I mean, all your friends were somehow aunts, but yeah, what about her? Yeah, she got, she, she got involved with this, uh, this married hotshot lawyer had an office in the city. She dated that guy for years. Be careful, Mom. I'm easily shocked. Yeah, I told her once. If I told her once, I told her a million times. Carmen? You gotta get rid of this guy. He's not gonna leave his wife and kids for you. I mean, why should he? You know, the dude had the best of both worlds, but the lady was convinced that he was gonna marry her and they were gonna ride off into some rosy sunset together. <laughs> How do you think that story ends? Aunt Carmen got her heart stomped on and handed back to her. Give the kid a prize. I swore that I was never gonna go down that road myself. So, Ma, tell me if I'm hearing this right. Have you got yourself hooked up with a married man? Hey. You know, I could use your help when you get out of here. <laughs> My help with what? My apartment. Needs a woman's touch. Do you want me to help you decorate? Well, as long as you don't get carried away, you know? That's sweet, John. I would love to help you. I mean, I have to be... A second position project, of course, because my first priority is the nursery. Just want to make it magical. <laughs> I ordered one of those um, gliders, you know, the ones, the rockers, the yeah. rocking gliders. Can nice. you imagine? <laughs> Not really, but we'll see. <laughs> it's going to be really sweet. What about you, Sonny? Can you imagine me in one of those rocking gliders falling asleep with our baby? I'd like to. You know, tell me something, Sonny. How do you keep yourself from choking on all that hypocrisy? Are you gonna finish this? You want? I want you to eat. I'm not hungry. I got no appetite. I'll get it back as soon as you're on a train back to Bensonhurst. You know what? This doesn't add up. 
You're all twisted in knots over this married guy. Did I say that? But all you can think about is getting your son out of town. I mean, why? You worried I'm going to beat this guy down or something? Because I won't. I'm not interested in your personal life, and I don't judge it. You know what? When I got pregnant with you, everybody told me that my life was over. You know that? They were so stupid. They didn't know my life was just starting. Honey, you are... You are the greatest thing that I will ever do. I just wish that I, um... Uh, I wish I could... You wish what? Olivia. Jason Morgan. I thought we talked about this. But Claudia, I'm sorry, but this Sonny Corinthos husband and father of the year crap is a little hard for me to swallow. No, I don't really get this or where it's coming from, Johnny. I thought that you and Sonny were getting along okay. Fine. What? Claudia, it is confirmed you have suffered a severe head trauma, which is going to require medical intervention. Okay, what does that mean? How do you treat it? There's a couple options, but the safest for you is a drug called dipraxiline. Is that dangerous for the baby? Yes, it, uh, could cause you to miscarry. Well, then no, I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> 